Hi everyone, it's Jessalyn and today I'm going to show you how I created this seamless line art leaf pattern that I actually used in my collection on my notepads, mouse pads, iPhone cases and tumblers. Let's get started. First I'm going to open Procreate and start out with a blank square canvas. I'm using a size 12 by 12 inch as you can see in my canvas information over here with a DPI of 300. And I also recommend using the RGB color profile, but if you need to use CMYK, you can do that too. The first thing I'm going to do is fill in my background color. This is going to be a solid olive green color. You can choose any color you want. If you want to follow along, the RGB color is on the screen right now. Next, I'm going to use the monoline brush from the calligraphy category that comes free with Procreate. And I'm going to choose my off-white color. Again, you can choose any colors you want, but if you want to follow along, the hex code will be on the screen for you. I'm going to create a new layer, just ignore my previous work over there. And I'm going to use the brush at 100%. That looks about big enough. We might tweak it a bit later. Next, I'm going to create our main leaf in the center of the canvas. The trick of seamless patterns is to make sure that you have elements crossing the vertical and the horizontal centers of your canvas. So I'm going to draw a leaf in the middle of my canvas here. So I'm going to start by drawing a squiggle in the middle of my canvas. And then I'm just going to draw little leaf shapes that don't have to be perfect. I'm going to draw a couple of them on each side of my line. And they really can be any shape and any size you want. I just like to do couple different ones and then make sure that I have some that are not matching and then I'm going to add some detail to my leaves and what I like to do is just to add a line that's not necessarily dead center of my leaf but adds a little bit of detail sometimes it is in the center and that's fine too and there we have our leaf that we're actually going to base the entire pattern on next I'm going to center this leaf and it's because it's on a separate layer I can just Tap there, make sure snapping is on and move it to the center. Now we're going to start making our pattern. But first I'm going to copy our leaf layer and I'm going to drag it underneath our background layer and I'm going to leave it there for later. You'll see why in a little bit. And then I'm going to select our top two layers, the leaf and the background, and I'm going to group them together. And then I'm going to duplicate this group three times. So we have four groups in total. It's always better to duplicate the original layer because it preserves the quality. And then we're going to take each group and we're going to move it to the corners. So I've selected the top group over here and I'm just going to move it. I'm going to keep everything the same. I'm going to move it to the center so that the yellow lines show up to make sure that it is in the exact corner of the canvas. And I'm going to take the next group and do the same thing. Make sure the yellow lines show up so I know that it is exactly centered or in the in the center. There we go, the yellow lines show up because you can run into some issues if you don't do that. So I'm taking each each group and making them in the center just like that. I'm going to group all of these layers together by pinching in. And so we've got just one layer over here and our extra leaf layer at the bottom. And I'm going to bring our extra leaf layer up to the top. Now you see it doesn't quite fit. And also I don't want it to look be in the same direction as our original leaf. So I'm going to flip it vertically, flip it horizontally. No, I'm going to flip it. Vert there we go. So I'm going to just play around it with it until it's in a different direction to our original leaf. For the last part of this pattern, I'm just going to add a little bit of detail and fill in these few little gaps around the side over here. So now we have our square of the pattern and now we need to check that it looks great when we actually make it into a full pattern. So we're going to group everything together. It's actually better if you keep the background and the top layer separate. So I would maybe try and do that and keep the background layer separate from the top layer. But for now, this is fine. I'm just going to duplicate our layer and we're going to decrease it 
to be a quarter. So each, I always like to duplicate an extra one just to keep, keep the original. And there we have our pattern. And I think that looks pretty good. I do think we could have added in some more leaf details in the side here, which you can go back and do. But I think this is a really nice, simple line art, seamless pattern. And it's very similar to what I created and used for my new notebooks, tumblers, mouse pads, and iPhone cases. If you have any other patterns you would like me to recreate and show you how to do, please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.